This week, we are going to Detroit, Michigan, and we will be attending Intensity Dance Competition. <laughs> Maddie, you are doing a contemporary solo, and the name of the piece is Timeless. Because you are timeless, Maddie. Abby, can you just explain as to, like, where Kalani fits if she can't go up against Maddie for the number one spot on this team? Kalani was brought here to dance with Maddie, not to go up against my own students. It's so comical that Kira is like not gonna stop with the whole Maddie versus Kalani showdown. It's not gonna happen because Abby covers her bets. And with Kalani, she can't be sure that Maddie's gonna win. Abby is the first to tell you that she only enters things that are a sure thing, and she can control anyone's destiny just by the choreography and the music and the costume she gives. So what does that say to the rest of us when we consistently lose to Maddie? I'm disappointed in the fact that Abby won't let Kalani and Maddie go up against each other. It's unfair that some kids have to go out and like be the sacrificial lamb or the loser where other kids, their reputations are protected. Everyone knew, except for Kira, there is never going to be a, a Maddie and Kalani showdown. Kira's the only one who'd never read the memo. I'm very excited about Maddie's solo this week. It's a contemporary piece, and it's called Timeless. Now, there has been a lot of chaos going on at the ALDC, but there's one thing that I can always count on, and that's Maddie. She's beautiful, she's graceful, she's timeless. Kendall's solo is called Battled Feet. It's a beautiful lyrical routine about a girl and her point shoes. Now, Jill always wants Kendall doing something like this because she wants to be like Maddie, of course. Jill, here's your opportunity. Now shut your trap. What do you think of the solo? I think it's difficult to dance holding shoes. Hold on to your left hand and use your right hand. I don't know how she thinks those point shoes are gonna stay when the she weight's on one not. side. This is a setup. She knows they're not. Because gravity's gonna pull them down because it's so heavy right. on that side. It's not balanced. That's not the step either. None of those were the right step. It's like a battle. You got picked to do a solo to go up against Maddie. And one of my instructors is telling me it's a battle. Was it a battle working with Maddie? No. That's two grown-ups against one child. And how fair is that? What? No! You're not gonna run in there and cry boo-hoo-hoo! I've had it! I'm going in. Ridiculous. Do we have a new page? She does not have to go to the bathroom. She's embarrassed. And I so absolutely she wants to run and she's hide. embarrassed. I don't blame her. Come here, honey. You did great. You look great. We think you look great. I know. It's okay. You'll be yelling at me. I know. Take a deep breath. Honey, we hear her yelling at you. No kid has ever had to dance with shoes wrapped around their neck and their hands. Oh my God, great. are you kidding? I need my kids it's to It's fine. Do that. She just learned it half an hour ago. This is you realizing that your kid is not picking up fast enough. That's bull See, what we see up there is two grown-ups screaming at one kid. Oh, God. What goes on in here is two grown-ups trying to battle your kid to get her to dance. That's rude, it's ignorant, and it's not fair. You know, at Nationals, when Kendall came right behind Maddie, Abby saw that that window was too close. So now she has to separate the winner from the losers. You're done, go. Okay. I'm not doing a solo. Don't talk back. Kendall. Get Maddie in here, let's go. Jill is so delusional. Every time, we give Kendall a step, she does it wrong. Then when we get on her about it, mommy has to run to the rescue. You know what? Keep bailing your kid out of trouble and you're gonna be bailing her out of jail. I'm getting kicked off. I don't want to Well, I don't think you're gonna get kicked off. Done, 29 minutes, done. We knew that was gonna happen. That was too predictable, Abby. Did it right, changed the whole ending. Said it once, go get a drink so you can do it from the top. Yes, Jill, Maddie is predictable. I can predict she's gonna go on stage and execute it flawlessly, and I can predict that she's gonna be in the top five. Maddie makes mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes, honey. Everybody makes mistakes. Because
because she doesn't yell at Maddie. Oh, I don't want to hear that. Do you hear me? I really well, don't want to hear that. Well, I'm going to go back in there. My feet. Okay, I'll be Abby. And your feet better be pointed. I really love having you here because you're an amazing dancer and you kind of inspire us to dance better. Well, I love you guys, but I'm probably going to be gone next week because I'm not doing a solo. Me? What? Abby wants you to videotape Maddie's solo. Oh, can you do that? Yeah, OK. Now, why, aren't, why didn't you get to do that for Kendall? Because I wasn't asked down there. Oh, I thought no, she just No, it was a rhetorical uh, question. I mean, it is crap that she's not putting Maddie up against Kalani. She says all the time, it's good when kids lose. Well, obviously not all kids. Maddie, you're going up against Kendall. You never know what she's going to come out and do. There could be some awesome, brilliant, stunning girl out there that's going to beat the crap out of you. Why are you here? Like, why are we traveling 3,000 miles to be here and to train with Abby? to be on the team and to learn. Kira is out in the hallway saying she wants to put Kalani in a solo. Kira has been able to get away with a lot with Abby, but let me tell you one thing. Don't you start messing with Maddie's reputation. When you mess with that kid's reputation, what's going on? My mom wants me to do a solo, and I'm not doing it because you told me not to. I just want her to be able to showcase her talent every week. I understand your mother wants you to dance. What does she need to do? Where does she need to go? She doesn't what need to this? do anything. She's fine. I love her. I think she fits in great. Do you fit in? I don't want another Christine Kelly on my team. And I have told you once, and now I'm telling you again. No solo today. This is going to be one tough competition. There are big ballet schools here in the Detroit area, and we need a big win today. Next up in the junior solo division, we have entry number 22. This is Kendall with Battle Feet. Kendall came off. She felt good about herself. I'm proud of my little girl. This is Maddie with Timeless. I'm sitting on a dock. Sky is swirling colors. Waiting on a sunset that never seems to come. Days are spinning past. Still, the light's not fading. I hold my breath, expecting it will soon. Like it was 
Kendall is clearly not at Maddie's level, but I know Kalani could beat Maddie any day. Our top 10 highest elite junior solo. In ninth place, with a score of 273.2 points, number 22, Battled Feet. Well, Abby, you got what you wished for. You wanted Maddie to win. You didn't want Kendall anywhere close to her. And now, here you have it. If Maddie doesn't win the overall high score for all the solos, that means that Kira was right, and I should have entered Kalani. And in first place, with a score of 288.1 points, number 23, Timeless. Yes, Maddie did it. Believe it or not, I'm on cloud nine.